A lot of people want to use Respondus Monitor or even just Lockdown on a browser in order to minimize cheating in their courses. But then they tell me that their students have only mobile devices, like iPads or even worse, just cell phones. They don't know what to do. They feel a little loss because those devices don't work with Lockdown Browser or Respondus Monitor. My name is Greg Kane. I'm going to walk you through the process of using the question banks in order to randomize the questions that students receive in their tests. So I have a Canvas sandbox here to walk you through the process. What we're going to do is we're first going to go over to quizzes and create the question banks. So let's click quizzes from the left hand menu. And instead of clicking quiz, we're going to click these three dots here in the upper right hand corner. And from there, we're going to click manage question banks. Now you'll see that I've already created a couple, but we're going to add a question bank so that you can see how the process is done. Now, the first thing you need to do is name the question bank. So I will call this test to true false questions. And then you have to click enter. You can't click away at this point on the page. That creates a link. Once you have that link, you click the link and it takes you to this page and then you can add questions to the question bank. Type them in. I will add that question. I'll just add a few so that you can see. So I've created a question bank here. And now that I've created that question bank, I'm going to go to modules. And I have this hypothetical module. So I'm going to click the plus sign. And I'm going to click quiz, new quiz, and I'm going to name it. So now I'm going to click uh, test two and I'm going to click edit. And before I add the questions, because I don't have any all of the above or none of the above questions, I'm going to click shuffle answers. Uh, there are other features. I, I recommend you take a look and see what these features are, including the dates. But from there, I'm just going to go and add questions. And instead of adding individual questions, I'm going to add question groups. That allows me to draw from the three question banks that I've created. So in other words, I'm going to have three sections to my test. And those sections are going to pull from three question banks. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've clicked new question group and I'm going to call this group true false. And I'm going to link to a question bank. Test it. There it is. Test two true false. I'm going to select that bank. Now I only have three questions. So I'm going to pick only one from there. Now I'm going to add a new one. And the new one, the next one I'm going to call multiple choice. And I'm going to link. And there's test to multiple choice. And that one, I created 10 questions. So I'm going to 
have them select five. That means that when a student gets to this section, they'll see five randomly selected questions from the 10 question bank that I created. And for the last one, I'll go to essay. And I will link to a question bank. And I created three essay questions there, so they will get one out of those three essay questions. We're ready to go. So let's preview. So that's, this is the first section of the quiz. That's the true false question. And this is the one question that it pulled from the three question bank that I created. Then the next five questions are multiple choice and it shows five questions randomly from a 10 question bank that I had created. So it's good to always check things because you get to see what didn't work. The essay question didn't work and I think I know why. I didn't, I didn't save it properly. So I'm gonna to go to questions. Yeah, new question group. Link. Essay questions, select bank. I'll create quick, create group. So when it's the last one, you really have to create group. Um, and now I'll save it. Preview again to make sure it works. Here's my true false. Notice it's a different one from the last time we saw it. It'll be a different group of, of five questions from the multiple choice bank. And then we get one of the three essay questions that I created from that quiz bank. So that's how you use question banks in order to randomize questions for students, which can be particularly helpful if they don't have lockdown browser or Respondents monitor and can't use it because they have mobile devices or don't have web cameras. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.